So I've had some problems with the trees dropping down on my property around the perimeter of my yard. Um, in the last two storms, they've taken out uh, some of my fruit trees in my orchard. I'll just show you. So last spring, a tree came down from the west side of my yard there, took out my peach, and then just over here, cherry, uh, another cherry, my apricot, and this peach here. And then I just had, as you can see on the ground here, I just had another tree come down from the northeast and wipe out my peach tree again. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to take down a few of these trees around the perimeter of my property. As you can see, the shed here, I'm putting a new roof on uh, this coming weekend. This is going to be where my chickens go. Um, and based on the tree situation that I've dealt with the last year, and as you can see, we have some pretty good lean to some of these trees. I'm going to take a few of them down. So if you're working in a tight spot, now I wouldn't recommend uh, for just anyone, if you don't have any experience felling trees, that you just be careful, maybe ask for some advice. Don't just watch YouTube videos. Um, although I hope this one will help you a little bit. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to control the fall the best I can. I want it to fall between my building and my orchard here. I'm going to drop that, uh, uh, that spruce tree right there. And as you can see, I've put a ratchet strap across from the spruce tree. And I've got it tied off iron, on an ironwood over there. So uh, I've tried to figure this out mathematically to make sure that when I cut the bottom, there'll be enough uh, uh, weight uh, to carry the tree uh, down based on the fulcrum point and over to uh, the shed direction so it doesn't fall directly on my orchard. But ideally, I want it to land right here. So let's see how it goes. <laughs> 